this thing, what, what the fuck? Did anyone else see that? Well, that was an interesting start to the video. What's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMG WTF, LOL FTWBRB, and in case none of you saw that, there was like a bar at the beginning of my video. It was a little weird. I've never seen that before, so just in case anyone thinks I'm going crazy, I'm not. There was a bar there. Promise you that. Either way, welcome back to more Total Extreme Wrestling 2013. We are playing as Ring of Honor in the year 2015. It's been quite a long time since I've recorded any Total Extreme Wrestling Nerds and Geeks, and I am super pumped to be doing this again. Um, last time, I had to recheck on or go through the history to see what we did. But last time was the show where we confirmed that Christopher Daniels was going to be challenging Jay Briscoe for the ROH World title at our next pay-per-view. Um, and we also had the romantic touch get unmasked, and it was revealed that it was Rhett Titus. It was not the best angle, but it's going to be the first storyline for Adam Page as we try to build him up, and so on and so forth. So last week was a decent episode of Ring of Honor, and um, this week it's kind of going to be progressing more towards the pay-per-view. And I wanted to check something real quick, so... Oh yeah, we're also going to be dealing with this, I forgot. I totally forgot about this. And I wanted to show you... Oh, man, I already moved on to this. I was going to show you guys something. I really did totally forget about this. Holy crap. It's a lot of people working. Um, either way, I can still show you guys this real quick. Um, for titles, I have added some titles. I looked in ROH and found out some of the tournaments they've done, so on and so forth. So um, to any of you ROH fans who know or are famili more familiar with Ring of Honor, you may uh, respect or appreciate... Um, the things that I added in. So I added in the Honor Rumble, which is practically the Royal Rumble, and uh, the winner receiving an ROH title shot. We added in the Moose Memorial, which is something I did myself since in the earlier episodes we saw the passing of Moose. So we're going to do a Moose Memorial with the winner receiving a ROH television championship match. And then uh, these are just the titles. Then we have the Survival of the Fittest, which I believe is a tournament with the winner receiving a ROH World Title Match. Then we have Tag Wars, which is a three-team, one-night thing where three teams get the opportunity. Not three teams, but there are, I think, maybe, I guess, six, nine teams get the opportunity to earn a championship match against the tag team champions in three different matches. And the three winners of those three matches go on to take on the tag team champions in a fatal four-way match at the end of the night. And then, of course, the top prospect tournament which sees a lot of young and up and coming unknown names compete on ROH television trying to earn a contract practically which is why that one's got a 30 plus E um, even though I would like it to be a higher because past winners have been such as like uh, Michael Elgin uh, Matt Taven um, I want to say Adam Cole too but I, I really don't know if it did say Adam Cole but I know Hans no it wasn't Adam Cole it was Michael Elgin Matt Taven, and then Hanson, and then the recent winner of Donovan Dijak. So, um, it's not too bad, either way. I also went ahead and created the House of Truth store or stable. We have Dijak, Jay Diesel, Jay Lethal, and Truth Martini. Even though um, Donovan Dijak is considered a face right now, despite the fact we don't use him, I am going to be booking him as he should be. I didn't mean to go to titles there. And for teams, I have added some new teams. Um, ignore like Bullet Club and all that. That's mainly because of the New Japan thing. But we have Diesel and Dijak, who are the House of Truth, of course. Um, that's also a Bull, um, New Japan thing. I like the idea of Dalton Castle and Joey Ryan as a team, so I created them. If anyone has a name for them, I'd greatly appreciate that. I haven't thought of one myself. And I believe that's all the new teams I've added. Other than that, though, I don't believe I've, uh, I've done anything else. So what I did want to check real quick, and it wasn't history is our schedule before we go ahead and book the show. Because I'm curious to see what our pay-per-view is. So we are currently in May, and we have the Global Wars event, which is going to be taking place on Wednesday, week four. And then we have the anniversary show, which will be on Saturday. So uh, next week will be our pretty big week for all of us. I think I'm going to record up until the anniversary show, and then maybe call it not up until like now i'm saying like cut off episodes of course but same post record all that that way i have some things to up record for upload for you guys <laughs> tongue-tied like i said i haven't done this for a while well you have some minor morale here mark briscoe what's that left off ring of honor well we're gonna have to book ring roh 
fucking hey i told you i don't know what it is guys but i just must be because i haven't recorded in a while but i am all over the place so let's do a mark briscoe match um you know what let's do briscoe's versus the addiction since we have what the hell oh no fuck i forgot we don't have like so many people that's right. Let me guess. Christopher Daniels. Yeah, working elsewhere. Let me guess. Frankie Kazarian as well. No? Hmm. All right, then. Maybe what we'll do, then, is we'll do the main event of the night will be Jay Briscoe versus... I don't have Frankie Kazarian, do I? Or is he? Okay. Versus Frankie Kazarian. That'll be our main event of the night. It'll go 16 minutes long. I got to take Bobby Cruz off this, by the way. So let's just go none here. We'll have Jay Briscoe winning in an open, slow build match. No, the world title does not be on the line. Someone told me about this that... um. These guys are basically pointless, so I'm probably going to end up releasing Bobby Cruz, actually. No point in having him if he's just going to sit there, do nothing. Alright, so we're going to do... That's going to be our main event of the night, and what we'll do is we'll have... Um, Briscoe come out and, I guess, do a uh, hype-up segment about his upcoming match against um, Christopher Daniels. So, there we go. I'm going to come out and do like, uh, I guess five minutes should be plenty of time. And then we will do the match announcement of Jay Briscoe versus Frankie Kazarian. And then we'll move on to our opening bout, which will be Mark Briscoe in action. The other Briscoe brother. So Mark is an upper mid-carder. Who would I like Mark to fight? Preferably this food booked, of course. Someone in the mid-card, most likely. We can do Mark Briscoe versus... Hmm. Joey Ryan's got a lot of momentum on his side. Maybe a lower mid corner. Let's go, Mark Briscoe versus um, what is Mark Briscoe's momentum at? Out of curiosity, D minus. Geez, a lot of my guys were so low. New Briscoe. I'm thinking Silas Young, but I'm not sure yet. Do an opener. Let's do an opener or an enhancement talent, one of the two. Probably just going to end up releasing Tadarius Thomas, if I'm being honest with myself. Um, I'm going to say let's do Mark Briscoe versus Donovan Dijak. We'll have it be... What is the medium match time? We'll have it be about eight minutes long. Excuse me. I'm trying to click this. Mark Briscoe getting the win. Work the crowd. And, um... Let's try to... Let's do Protect Donovan Dijak. I know a lot of you get mad because I, I guess I shower with the, um... The Keep Strong thing. So we'll try just Protect it because I want to try to get Donovan Dijak over anyway. So I want Truth Martini to do a little bit of distracting as well, just to kind of get him some heat. Um, speaking of which, let me just double check. He's not his manager, so let me add Truth Martini to Donovan Dijak. There we go. So that we do have that going on. We'll probably do a... I don't want to do a Rhett Titus match yet, because I kind of want it to be, you know, Rhett Titus... Um, not coming back yet, even though it might be next week, so 
we might do like a promo, like a backstage promo on those two. So let's do Hype by Manager, which will kind of be that promo. Even though BJ Whitmer is not the best on the mic from what I understand. But it'll be BJ Whitmer, Adam Page, joking around basically about Rhett Titus. We'll have that be about like a two minute promo thing. This was supposed to go right there. Okay. And then after that, um, we have um, a number one contender for the ROH World Championship in television. We should probably get a number one contender for the, not the television, the tag team. We should probably get a number one contender for the television title here soon. So let's have that be our main, of, or not our main event, our semi-main. We will do a fatal four-way match, and whoever's lucky is lucky. So let's look at the main eventers. We're definitely most likely going to have Roderick Strong in this. Actually, we might not, actually. Let's do Michael Elgin. Um, we'll throw in Chris Hero, Joey Ryan, and possibly Silas Young. Or, you know, better yet, let's go Tommaso Ciampa. And I'm just going to save this for now, because out of curiosity, curiosity, I want to see who recently challenged Jay Lethal for the championship. So uh, let's just go, yes, only title matches. He defended it against both Roderick Strong and Matt Seidel. So it might make sense to have Roderick Strong in this match, to be honest. But we're not going to. Oops. Did not mean to click that. So we'll have this be a... 15 minute match if I can. We even let Jay Lethal on commentary. We'll have Chris Hero get the win in an open, all-out match. And... Um, I feel like I need more road agents, so I'm probably going to go out and hire more road agents if I'm going to be honest with ourselves. I must book one more minute. Well, that's fine. So we'll do that, and then we'll actually do guest color commentary. Jay Lethal. Boom. And that'll be our minute. And then I would like to probably do a um, couple, what am I trying to say? A couple, what am I really trying to say here? I can't believe it. Opener, or uh, pre-show matches, so I'm going to do two. I'm going to do one match, which will be Matt Seidel versus, I don't have Matt Seidel, so I'm going to be Beretta instead. Versus El Hijo de Rey Mysterio. Just because I'm trying to... I want to get him over a little bit more here. Not that I'm going to have Bretta lose. I'm just... Actually, I'm not going to really care about either who wins this match. So, we'll make it about a six-minute match. Let's do... Yeah, six minutes are fine, I guess. Why is Bobby Cruz still on commentary? And we'll just have it... Yeah. There we go. Those two... Then we'll do another, we'll just do another match, which will be a tag team, and it'll be War Machine. Do I have another tag team? Because I was actually thinking of doing, oh, I don't think I do actually. Never mind, then I guess we'll just do another, let's do a triple threat match. And we'll have, it'll be Adam Page versus, let's do Tadarius Thomas, and Don Castle, 
What is Adam Page, by the way? Let's do Will Ferrar, why not? I'm just going for seven minutes with Page getting the victory. And that'll do it. So welcome to those nerds and geeks who clicked on the annotation or looked into the description box. I will try to remember to put it up, but no promises. Please comment below if I forgot, of course. But either way, let's book this show. I know this might be a, bit, a little bit of a longer episode. Or not book the show. Let's run this show. A bit of a longer episode than I normally do for Ring of Honor. It felt like I took a little bit longer than usual. Either way, for the pre-show, we have an extremely poor match. With Beretta defeating El Hijo de Rey Mysterio with the running single leg, leg high knee strike. That's a mouthful. And Mysterio is improving in flying. And we move on to a, a match that did worse. A 32 E+. Plus. Extremely poor match. Page defeating Ferrara and Tadarius Thomas with the Adam's Apple. We move on to the start of the show, which comes starts off with Jay Briscoe coming out, hyping his... Upcoming match against Christopher Daniels at our next um, pay-per-view, which is called The Anniversary Show. Totally forgot for some reason. And then we get the hype that we'll see Briscoe take on Kazarian later tonight. Wow, really? This did not do that good. 26E, holy crap. Hmm. The match had an average crowd reaction but featured terrible wrestling. Mark Briscoe defeated Donovan Dijak with the cutthroat burning hammer. Okay. Dijak was off his game. I wonder why this did so bad. Look at this. Look at all those negatives. Whew. Oh boy. Well, that's not a good start to the show. Then you have the interview with Adam Page and fucking BJ Whitmer. Lethal coming out to do color commentary. So we have a 50D+. plus. Somehow it lifted the crowd. And that's all right. Average crowd reaction and some decent in-ring action. Hero defeating Elgin, Ryan, and T Tommaso Ciampa. When he defeated Joey Ryan with the Hangman's Clutch Submission Hold. And that confirms that the anniversary show that we will see. Jay Lethal defend his ROH Television Championship against Chris Hero. And Hero is also improving in performance. Good for him. And then our main event of the night gets a 54C minus. Good crowd and some decent in ring action. Briscoe defeating Frankie Kazarian with the double underhook pile driver. So basically the J driller. And somehow this show increased our popularity in seven regions. So I'm not complaining. Even though we had a rough start there, it still uh, did well. So, uh, all in all, I'm happy. Sorry, I had to take a drink there. And uh, I believe the next show is going to be our New Japan show. So let's see. Rhodes is upbeat about retiring, as is Terry Funk. Oh, Junji Hirata passed away. Wasn't he um, Super Strong Machine? Did not mean to, s to click that one. Characters. Oh, I thought he was. He was Super Strong Machine, see? I knew he was. Lied to me. Anything. This guy's face looks like he's swollen. Our show went down really well. Cool. Alright, well, either way, nothing too special here. And yeah, the next show will be New Japan Global Wars. I should have given him a bonus before I honestly did that match. And uh, I got some pretty good matches booked. So um, we'll get to that. And other than that, nerds and geeks, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.